مساء الخير اسمحوا لي اولا ان اشكر مركز ويتني ويتني للدراسات الانسانيه بشخص الاستاذه البروفيسور ماريا ان اشكر ايضا الناشر ناشر الكتاب جون دوناتيش وان اشكر البروفيسور سوسي واشكر فهمه العميق لما احاول ان اقوم به شكرا لكم جميعا واحدا واحدا um, thank you all uh, each of you i would like to thank uh, the whitney center for the humanities for uh, their hosting of this event I'd like to thank the Yale University Press and John Donatish for their publishing of the book. And I'd like to thank uh, Professor Sosi for um, expressing and understanding what I have uh, been trying to uh, do. Um, now, speaking for myself, I'd like to also thank everyone already mentioned. And I'd like to thank the staff at uh, the Yale University Press that I worked with, um, um, Neve and uh, all the others whose names are like hot, like butter on a very hot skillet have sometimes disappeared. Yeah. What we've been doing in our readings, I keep trying to run away from the microphone, but the microphone is following me. Uh, what we've been doing in our readings is, uh, is this better? is um, reading uh, Arabic and English, but uh, usually more English. And also what we've done is uh, we have, um, in some cases, uh, not read exactly matching text. Uh, I was not able to translate all that our poet has written. And uh, sometimes he takes a, a direction I, I don't know. But we're agreed uh, that uh, there will be more English than, than Arabic, which uh, uh, a little bit of a bias towards the English. But uh, those of you who are bilingual uh, will get a uh, full share. So uh, we will start with some English. And since we are in the, um, um, so there's a kind of an Omeyyad Andalusian moment so we will begin with the season of tears, which references, um, uh, in a way, uh, uh, Falcon of Quraysh, Abdul Rahman al -Dakh. It falls quiet, the call of the wilderness. Clouds trapes above the palms, and from the edge of the groves, the towers are tinted rose. It falls quiet, the call of return. I ask her, and Damascus does not answer, does not come to the stranger's aid. Will he stop here if he passes by? He doubt, died without a sound, without a secret to his name. I live where she sleeps, among her long exhales, in the weeping fields, in the bed spread by her tears, in the small hallway between her eyelids and sky. It falls quiet, the call of return. Of my life, nothing remains in my eye except these sad ghosts. Still, the trees that weep on the city's ground are lovers who sing my songs. Mirror of endless wandering, change the face of the moon, for my beloved's face is no longer there. Yesterday, we climbed toward that star, saw him in the nude, saw him clothed and what we saw struck us, a face made of dirt. Change the face of the moon now that her face is no longer there, O oh, mirror of endless loss. It falls quiet, the call of return. I walk and the Euphrates alongside me walks, the trees follow like flags and a pair of eyes from the embers of years. I sway 
with the swaying waist of the beast, I dance with a black star, and the towers are melodies displaced from their scores. My body and its captors are in one land, my heart and its owners elsewhere. It falls quiet, the song of return, and the towers are a country of tears. If she'd only known, she'd have wept. The Euphrates and its banks of palms, it falls quiet, the song of return. Confused, confused, I own a choked language that raves towers I own. Confused, crucifying day, tempted by a terror in its depths. Tempted to rage, confused, the shores rob my inheritance. The waves defend my dawn. I sang of gardens and a towering palace, while in wet wretchedness in attics hid. Tell him who used to sleep on soft cushions, that the heights are being punished by a star. Tell him to ride through the specter of hardship, or he'll become the lowest of men. It falls quiet, the song of return. Wronging myself, I roll my history, slit its throat in my hand, rouse it back to life. I shepherd my errors, torture my mornings, I feed them night and feed them mirage. I have a shadow that fills my earth and lengthens. It sees and greens, it burns its past, and like me, burns itself. And we live together, walk together the same green language on our lips, and in the face of mid-morning light, and in the face of death, our ways part. It falls quiet, the song of return. I dream of Damascus of terror in the shadow of Qasiyun, a past era stripped of its eyes, of a calcified body, wordless tombs, calling out Damascus, die here and let your promises burn, calling out Damascus, die and never return, you chaste prey of fattened thighs, woman offered to whomever comes your way, to chance to a daring wayfarer, sleeping through fever and through ease, in the arms of the East. I drew your eyes in my book. I carried you a debt on my youth in the greenness of Rota, in the foothills of Qasiyun, woman of mud and sin, temptress made of light, a city, Damascus, once your name. Yesterday, poetry, daylight, and I reached Rota and stormed the gate of hope, howling at trees howling at water and fields, weaving out of them an army and a flag to wade our black sky, your black sky, and Damascus our hands continue to weave. Nothing, not even death, can dissuade us. When will we die, Damascus? When will we find ease? And last night in dream, Damascus, I, state, I shaped a statue of clay. In his white curves I planted your history, Damascus, and I began in terror and in joy to fall like a quake on the hill of Jilik. I embraced her, stroked her and sang, mm -hmm, crescent moon, and I said, no, you remain in longing, Damascus, and in my blood. And I said, let Damascus burn, and my murdered depths rose, calling out to Damascus, their frightened cries, woman of disobedience without certainty, woman of acquiescence, woman of hubbub and shock, woman of veins filled with forest and swamp, naked woman lost to her thighs, listening to the dead, to graves, to dens, listening to pious ears, in love with your yellow corpses, your victims feeding on mud and tears. City, all eaten up Damascus, feeding on skin and hide. Oh, love, no. Oh, Damascus, if it were not for you, I would not have fallen into these gorges, would not have torn down these walls, would not have known this fire that calls out, that thuds our history and illuminates, vessel of the world coming our way. Pardon me, Damascus. You sinner, beatified by your sins.
أين أين سأحفظ أعيادي التي لم تمت بعد كيف أحرر أجنحتي التي تنتحب في أقفاص اللغة وكيف أسكن في ذاكرتي وها هي خليج من الأنقاض العائمة هل سينمو بين كتفي حجر أو جزر خشخاش هل الحيوانات السجينة في ستعرف أخيرا طريق الهروب هل علي أن أدخل في سبات وأن أخون أعضائي هل علي أن أصنع من الرمل سدادات لرئتي وأن أستلقي حجرا أسود في أبدية الطاعة هل علي أن أدهن جسدي بزيت الآلة وأن أملأ حنجرتي بنعم نعم لا لا كلا ليس لي وطن إلا في هذه الغيوم التي تتبخر من بحيرات الشعر آويني آويني حرسيني أيتها الضاد الضاد يا لغتي يا بيتي أدليك تميمة في عنق هذا الوقت وأفجر باسمك أهوائي لا لأنك الهيكل لا لأنك الأب أو الأم بل لأنني أحلم أن أضحك وأبكي فيك أن أترجم أحشائي أن ألتصق بك وأرتعش وتصطفق أنحائي كمثلي نوافذ بين يدي ريح خرجت لتوها من أصابع الله هكذا هكذا أتحول فيك إلى نفس يهبط من فم السماء وينفخ في فرج الأرض هكذا أحضنك وأقول من جديد أنت الجسد الذي يسمى الغدا وعلى هذا الجسد يرمى نرد التاريخ هو ذا أنا هو ذا أنا أخرج من سلالتي كعطري وردة تكاد أن تموت أتموج وأتعدد أتشبه بالنحل وأصنع شهدي الخاص وها هي الحياة باردة وأقل من أن تكون جرحا لا أرى غير آلات تتزاحم في حقول من أنفاس البشر وليس ثمة نهار ولا ليل بل شريط يتواصل من لحظات تتقطع لا الخارج بيتي والداخل ضيق علي لا الخارج بيتي والداخل ضيق علي هكذا كعطري وردة تكاد أن تموت أخرج من سلالتي لا أريد أن أسمي أريد أن أكون سميا للضوء لا أريد أن أستمسك أريد أن أرادف الريح <تصفيق> Where can I hold my feasts of survival? How can I release my wings weeping in the cages of language? And how can I live in memory, a bay choked with debris? Will a stone or a poppy sprout between my shoulders? Will the animals caged inside me escape? Will I doze off and betray my limbs? Will I make plugs out of dirt to stop on my lungs and lie on the black stone of obedience? Will I anoint myself with engine oil and stuff my throat with yes, yes, no, no, no? 
I have no country except for these clouds rising as mist from lakes of poetry. Shelter me, Dodd, letter, Dodd, guard me, Dodd, my language, my home, I hang you like a charm around the throat of this era and explode my passion in your name. Not because you are a temple, not because you are my father or mother, but because I am, I dream of laughter and I weep through you so that I translate my insides and cling to you as I tremble, as my sides shudder like windows, shaken by a wind now just let loose from God's fingers. It is through you that I turn into a breath that falls from the sky's lips and blows into the earth's genitals. This is how I embrace you and say again, you are the body that names tomorrow. And it is on you that the dice of history are tossed. To make a mirror that deserves me and to see myself reflected in it, to shape a space wide enough to contain my horrors. Maybe I'll put on a shirt with ripped sleeves or walk in tattered socks and shoes. Maybe I'll slit a cloud's vein and sate my thirst. Maybe I'll whisper home and only the history of a dervish fated to die will be revealed to me. Maybe I'll cover his grave with my voice or try to uproot the Eiffel Tower and replace it with a sapling of Damascene jasmine. Or maybe I'll invite Adam back to earth so that he can build a house for his beloved on earth and call his children home. Now the sun combs the hair of dusk and the bars of Paris rise up like the virgin in her ascent. I summon angels and ambulances. I turn into water and flow in the pool of my sorrows, or I become a horizon and climb the heights of desire. I know that we die only once and are many times reborn, and I know that death is only useful if we live it through. I know that the hereafter is this rose, this woman, and that a human face is the other side of the sky. I know that my skies will rise from the Edens of Earth, cloud by cloud. Welcome to history, to its specks of dust. How can a mortal despair when the wind is his road? And the last section of this poem. This is I, from among my race, I waft like perfume. This is I, from among my race, I waft like perfume from a dying rose. I move, slow surge I spread, and like a bee I make my own honey. This life is cold. Not even a wound, nothing but machinery crowding the fields of human breath. There is no day or night, only an endless thread of disconnected moments. The outside is no home for me. The inside can find me. Among my race I waft like perfume from a dying rose. I have no wish to name. I want to be exalted like light. I do not want to hold fast any longer. I want to run alongside the wind. Concerto for 11th September. Concerto for 11th September 2001 BC. Rest your backs against the cedars of God. 
or surrender to the wheels of the machine. He, the defiant one, will chart the lower layers of creation, empowered with water that carries desire, in an essence half lead and half myth, in the avalanche of limbs, where the elements are shot and matter is shattered, 11 September 2001 BC, 11 September 2001 AD, the science of another rhythm to conjoin nature and algae, throat and sword, wind and soul. And to you, my people, you may applaud the blood gushing from the vein of goodness, and you may prostrate to the divinity of desire in the temples of evil, in the flood of metal geysers, in waterfalls of fire, in stars carpeted with ash. Apollo, God, lover, beloved, can you still distinguish between a face and a pair of buttocks? And you, banished and despised one, rejoice and celebrate. Paradise is here, there, under your feet. He, the defiant one, will chart the lower layers of creation and dive into them into the deepest depths. He writes another history for voice, alphabet, and word. To his right is a dromedary like Imr al Qais's, to his left a spaceship, Saad, a desert that never stops screaming. Ain, the work of the wind in the belly of sand. Ha, the dream of a body that saw everything while still in the womb. Rain, the star sang. Yeah, the warrior king said, do not believe everything, wind. I ask nothing of you except obedience. And you, sky, where were you? Why were you slow to respond when I invited you? Noon, a sobbing in the throat of history. Avarice. Descartes, Hegel, where are your brains now? In Tiberius, on the Hudson, or between them in a red rocket ship? The present is a slaughterhouse and civilization a nuclear inferno. And what do you say about human beings, each of whom lives inside a ball of ice and has only one dream? where to stroll on the surface of Mercury, and say, who colonizes the imagination of the West? How can the hand of virtue grasp Moses' staff and explode the fury of war? And how did a thousand and one knights become a thousand and one armies? And say, who had turned divinity into a form of entertainment? My certainty resides in the house of a spider, and what is this crumbling among the ruins of orbits? Not a planet, and not a machine to conquer planets. It's the poetry of matter. Oh, how now, more than ever, my senses need to read the holy books with the eye of poetry. Buddha will be happy. Buddha reads with his body and loves poetry. The lower layers of creation Calf, noon, coincidence is the creature's home, not the end of words, not the seed of knowledge, the lower layers of creation. Camouflage your innards, technology. What are you inflicting now on the body of the universe? No matter how deep you delve, you will never reach the heart's unknown. And how miserable you are, gift of art, one brush breaking another, one ink murdering another ink. The lower layers of creation, Qaf, Lam, Rain, Guantanamo, a prison administered by capitalism on a communist island, a space flooded with alphabets like the clay of which madam was made. The earth is a whore, you said, but is she not the mother of all the angels? Sheen, dal, human, animal shapes of all sorts are slaughtered and spread raw on the tables of time. 
blood spilled as if it is seeping from the gardens of God. Meme, the enslaver, the enslaved, an adulteration or mollification of the dualism of master-slave. Seen, sheen, sanctifying death, virtue that is evil, evil that is virtue, and thought that is merely wash water. In the beginning was crime. What do they want, those who do not want peace or justice, and do not want terrorism? Saint Just, for example. Ha, is there anything human in a human being? Tha, no revenge without justice. Thus spake Aeschylus, revenge first. This is how New York speaks. You have done well, Jim Morrison. Speaking of an American knight, Emir al Qais al Mutanabi al Ma'ari, say, who can now speak well of this planet, this Arab night, and how tired the earth must be, truly, from the struggle between Noon, Ya, and Kaf, the world's tragedy began. Meme, a procession launches the birth of planets, dragged by a soldier star. Legs led by blind men where we read the history of humanity in a new translation etched on the page of memory with a plastic chisel. And in the forest of uranium mushrooms, we build an oven that offers us bacterial bread. I wish I knew how to tie the flag to the strings of dream. I would have entered the bed of an oyster or mated with a tree. Open my chest wide. Where are your arms, jasmine tree? And you, migrant bird, is it better to be hunted in the land of your migration than to be choked in your pa parents' bed? Do not forget to kiss for me the first branch that received your wings and I will kiss in your name the air for no reason, except to test the chain that clamps my lips. Nahattu. <laughs> نهضت أسأل عنك الفجر هل نهضت رأيت وجهك حول البيت مرتسما في كل غصن رميت الفجر عن كتفي جاءت أم الحلم أغواني سألت ندا على الغصون سألت الشمس هل قرأت خطاك أين لمست الباب كيف مشى إلى جوارك ورد البيت والشجر أكاد أشطر أيامي وأنشطر دمي هناك وجسمي ها هنا ورق يجره في هشيم العالم الشرر غالبا غالبا أتفقد بيتي في الليل أشعل ضوء المصابيح لكنها لا تضيع النوافذ أبدأ فتح النوافذ لكنها لا تضيع لعلي في الباب ألقى ضياء أقول لنفسي وأسرع للباب أرجوه لكنه لا يضيع الظلام هنا مثل جرح يظل على برئه نازفا يقول لي الحب يا حب من أين يأتي الضياء والسماء تخون السماء آه كلا لا أريد لعيني أن تسبح في فضاء غير عيني كلا لا أريد لحبي وأشيائه وضوحا لا أريد انتماء ولا نسبا أو هوية لا أريد سوى أن نكون لغات للجموع وأعضاؤنا أبجدية The Rose 
leaves its flower bed to meet her. The sun is naked in autumn, nothing except a thread of cloud around her waist. This is how love arrives in the village where I was born. In her name, I do not wish to exist, so to exist. I make my lights blaze and track my time in her embrace. And I sing to us and sing to her in her name. Friend of my capture, her luminous body, teach me how to sing again. I wake and ask dawn about you. Have you woken? I saw your face sketched around the house on every branch. I carry dawn on my shoulder. She arrives, or is it the dream tempting me? I ask the dew on the branches. I ask the sun, have they read your footsteps? Where did you touch the door? How did they walk alongside you, the roses and the trees? I'm about to break my days and split in two. My blood there, my body here, sheets of paper dragged into the ruined world by sparks. When we meet, wherever our steps take us, in cities or fields, let silence enter its wound speech. Do you want my love to have a face that lights the sky? Then let your eyes become a house for my face. Take me, talk. I cannot feel the rhythm of my body in your hands and eyes unless you speak. Moon, how kind the moon is when it comes and draws water from her pool, then says goodbye, fleeing. How kind the bed, the mattress, the covers where our limbs used to entangle in a long embrace as we beg the angel of wakefulness to walk his bridge, but to slow his pace. How kind the planets were. They sang whenever everything brought us together and undressed our news. Last one. I will not sing my song. No song if it is not burdened with the bitterness of love and what the wind's folly leaves suspended in the air. No song, unless its equivalent emerges from the edge of weeping. Yamhu wajhahu yaktashifu wajha. Yamhu wajhahu yaktashifu wajhahu. يتقدم الخطف تلبسك فتنة بفجرها الأول يتقدم الوقت أين المكان الذي تزمن فيه الحياة تتقدم العتمة أية رجة أن أوزعك في كريات دمي وأقول أنت المناخ والدورة والكرة أية زلزلة يتقدم الضوء يليل في أنحائي أنقطع أتصل والوقت يأخذ هيئة البشرة يخرج من الوقت وسقط غزوك علي وشهقت إليك أحوالي لماذا حين دخلت أخذت الحقول تشتعل وكانت يداي أول النار ولماذا كل ليلة كنت أحمل زغب نهديك لليلة مقبلة ادخلي وعلى ركبتيك تراب وفي الطريق إليك إلي الجبال وسرب المنحدرات وشربين الأودية أقول نلتقي نفترق وأستجمع أنحائي أيها الحنظل المتناثر ملحا على موائد الإباحة أنت العذوبة وأمنحك طعمي الأول جسدك 
أفتيه أخرج وأسفار خروجي أنت أخذك أرضا لا أعرفها أخذك واقفا قاعدا راقدا ولا أقنع بغيرك أخذك في تنهداتي في اليقظة والنوم في الحالات الوسيطة وفيما يعده لي الوقت أخذك ثنية ثنية وأفتتح مسالك أتمدد فيك لا أصل أتدور لا أصل أتسلك أن تسج لا أصل أصل من أقاصيك لا أصل ما بعد المسافات أنت ما بعد المفازات أنت أين وهل وماذا وكيف ومتى وأنت لا أنت الطرق الصالحة ليست صالحة لي وليست لأحد خطواتي وفي كل نقطة من جسدي تيه وليس الضلع عشيقة لأضلل الطرق وليست المرأة أرضا لأكتسي بالفضاء أشكك المثلث بأضلاعه الدائرة بمركز الدائرة أشكك الخبز بالملح هل يخرج الطبع عن مداري هل أنا سمكة تكره الماء أكثر شيخوخة من الحجر هذه العضلة عبرت محجات الخدر استكشفت محيطات الهلوسة رافقنا معها دوار الشمس سكنا معها حشيشة الملاك الطرق فواصل وحركات ولا فرق بين القمر وظله العصفور والغصن أيها الضارب في شريان المسافة استسلم للريح تشرد الفضاء للفضاء يمشي بقدمي طفل للحب منفى للحب body he erases his face he discovers his face rapture advances a temptation wears you in her first dawn time advances where do you chronicle life and how darkness advances what tremor will spread you woman among my blood cells so that i'll say you are climate turn and sphere what aftershock? Light advances. It becomes night in my regions. I am torn and assembled. Time takes the shape of skin and escapes time. And your conquest befell me. My metamorphoses heave toward you. When you entered, why did you take the burning fields even though my hands were the first fire? And why every night? Did I carry the softness of your breast to another night? Enter, woman, with dirt on your knees, the dirt of the road that leads to you to mountains and the cypresses of the mountainsides and the larches of the valleys. I say, we shall meet, separate, and I will gather my regions, bitter apples that scatter like salt on tables of licentiousness. You are the sweetest and I offer you the first taste of me. Your body is a loss I leave behind, and you are the books of my departure. I take you, a land I do not know, hills and valleys covered with the herbs of seeking, mysterious stretches, and I take you standing, sitting, lying, none but you convinces me. I take you in the sighs, in waking, in sleeps, in my sighs, in waking, in sleep, in the states between, in what time promises me I take you fold by fold and I open my entries to you. I stretch within you and do not reach. I circle and do not reach. I stretch like wire. I thread myself into yarn. I rove your expanses and do not reach. You are beyond distances, beyond victories. You are where and if and what and how, and when, and you are not you.
the good road is not good for me, and my steps belong to no one. In each dot on my body is a false clue. A rib is not a lover, a sign that misleads the roads. And woman is not earth so that I am forced to wear the sky. I make the triangle doubt its vertices, the circle doubt its radius. I make bread suspicious of salt. Will I find, will a fixed habit leap out of its orbit? And am I a fish that hates water? It is all older than stone. It is older than stone, this muscle. It has crossed all rationale for stupor. It has discovered oceans of nonsense. With them, we followed the arc of a sunflower. We lived with them among the angels' grass. The road is made of limbs and motions. There is no difference between the moon and its shadow, the bird and its branch. And I see the sea through the forest skirts. Ice becomes king of water. The sun guarded me. The galaxy's circumference was my orbit. A ram's horn carries me. A bull's lips chews me. I witness how light becomes the body of thorns, how mud releases the moans of the sky, how truth erases me and delusion roots me. How do I cross the distances between them? There is always a distance between us. You, striking into the artery of distance, surrender to the wind that scatters space into bits, to space that walks with the feet of a child, to love, to love that has become the exile of love. Zalika tiflu, Zalika tiflu alladhi kuntu أتاني مرة وجها غريبا لم يقل شيئا مشينا وكلانا يرمق الآخر في صمت خطانا نهر يجري غريبا جمعتنا باسم هذا الورق الضارب في الريح الأصول وافترقنا غابة تكتبها الأرض وترويها الفصول أيها الطفل الذي كنت تقدم ما الذي يجمعنا الآن وماذا سنقول Thank you very much.